this is the view as you look out of the main entrance to the site we're looking out over the salt marsh of the Lahore estuary over in the distance you can see Burryport and Llanethly main reception it's about half past nine in the morning so a number of outfits are either leaving or going out for the day this site was originally an iron and steel works and was in place until as recently as 1967 before it was turned into a caravan park. Beautiful flower displays here at Gowerton. The wardens really make an effort with the flowers. One of the best late night arrivals areas of any site that I've seen. It obviously doubles as the car park when visitors are allowed, which they're not at the moment due to Covid. But you can get, well, three, maybe four outfits in that late night arrivals area. Certainly I think there's electric hookups for three. I have seen four smaller camper vans on there before now. Use your barrier system with a fob. We've been here since Monday, it's now Friday, and the site's been pretty full most of that time. A couple of very happy rabbits there. They certainly are present. There's also a caravan storage compound here. And rather strangely on this site, they've removed all the bins from the service points and they have the large industrial sized bins by the site entrance. Not sure why that's necessary, maybe it's a different rule here in Wales, but certainly other sites that we've on, been on recently have had the usual bins and the collection by the wardens children's play area this used to be on the other side of the site when we first started coming here but i think it's rather better here tucked away in the corner and behind it with the lush trees and hedges is a very very nice and quite large circular dog walk to said dog walk It's always rather nice when you have a nice open green area with pitches around the edges. Just gives you a better sense of space. I believe there's 120 something pitches on this site, so it's a reasonable size. very large pitching area following the road around behind the toilet and facilities block. This is the only toilet and facility block here on this site. At 
the moment obviously we are still under COVID restrictions so access is limited there's only two showers in the ladies and two in the gents so queuing is very much the order of the day here they have the wristband system in operation although have to say that we've observed plenty of people ignoring that I think people are getting a little bit tired of the restrictions and as we appear to be so close to them being lifted I think some people are taking matters into their own hands So, back to the Woofsters. I phoned up a few days before we arrived to request, if possible, that we had a pitch near to the toilet so Lady Carol in her somewhat limited mobility state could access them more easily. And they very kindly saved us this pitch, which is perfect. Morning Lady Carol. Morning. Oh. Grumpy this morning? No. That means yes. And she argues back. What game are we playing this morning, Cal? Bubbles. Is that bubbles or bubbles? Yeah. The grumpiness will wear off shortly when we go out. So that's today's very truncated interview with Lady Carol. Not well, much to say today, anyway. Yes, unfortunately that won't last. Bye for now. So this is Hillend Beach Car Park. It's Tuesday morning, the 13th of July, or even Tuesday afternoon. It's surfers paradise here. busy campsite adjacent to the car park. There's a cafe a little further up the hill that I suspect is doing a roaring trade. Here's the magnificent Rossilli Beach. Worm's Head in the distance.
Hello. So today's interview with Lady Carol. Have you enjoyed yourself today, Lady Carol? Yes, thank you very much. And was lunch up to your expectations and standards? I think so, yeah. Oh. Well, I ate it anyway. Ah, yes. <laughs> That's a slightly different standard, isn't it? Have you been far? I've been to the top of the dunes. I have been to the mountain top and I have seen the promised land. Seen the sea. Well, actually, yes, I've seen Rossilli Beach, oh, well done. which looks beautiful in the sunshine. Is it very far away? No, it's just literally over the top of the dunes that you can see. Oh. It's well, a bit of a. I bit used of a, to be able to do that, but I'm afraid I can't anymore. It's a little bit of a climb up because the sand is quite loose, but it's doable if you just take it slowly. Not for me. Not for you, perhaps. Not for me. And there aren't as many people on the beach surfing as you would have thought, given how many people are here in the car park. Oh, okay. But it is lovely, and you can look both ways. You can look to the north, to Llangeneth, where we used to stop. Mm -hmm. And also south, you can see Worm's Head very clearly. Well done. And the village there. Good. So I have say, taken some footage so you can see. As instructed, and I am now returned to recommence my domestic duties. Oh, okay. This is your faithful reporter signing off. This is Southgate and the car park here belongs to the National Trust so we're able to park up here all day for no payment as we're members of the National Trust. Another absolutely glorious day. Warm sunshine, gentle breeze, nothing could be better.
here on the cliff top. A fabulous view. just in the distance on the edge of the car park with the sun glistening off the windscreen you can see our van a convenient bench here for the weary traveller to rest his limbs and just soak up the view. View with Lady Carol. Hello. It's Wednesday. How are we today? Fine, thank you. Okay. Are you enjoying yourself in the sunshine? I am. Well, yeah. You're having to move to keep out of the sunshine. Yeah. It's a bugger this weather, isn't it? I know. Never mind. Did you go far? I went right out to <laughs> the edge of the cliff out there and then looped back along through the bushes oh. lots of different paths yeah I've just seen the man with the horse yeah he's just a and his dog horse shame about the horse box uh, yes indeed you could do with another one i think well there you go farmers are nothing if not economical oh is that what he is i imagine so nice horse time for lunch yet yep there we go a decision has been made by Lady Carol. Mark this day in your diaries. Yeah. It doesn't happen often. Bye. It's Friday morning. Almost lunchtime in fact. And we've parked up here. Had a brew and a biscuit. Just enjoying the magnificent weather and this lovely view over the river Lochor estuary. The tide is coming in. When we arrived about an hour ago, this was mud flats and it's now nearly submerged. So this is the foreshore car park. It's free and there's no height barrier. Loads of dog walkers this morning and people just taking in the view like us. says this greener living spaces project has been supported by the Marks and Spencer carrier bag charging scheme and it's just a lovely little rustic 
viewpoint. Some benches, it's slightly elevated, so you've got a good view looking over the salt marsh. This is something of a country park. Lots of different marked paths, waymarked paths, as well as the foreshore itself. Absolutely lovely. there grazing on the salt marsh. Of course this area is famous for its salt marsh lamb. Wonderfully tasting meat. And there on the mud flats many many birds enjoying that rich environment. here at Rossilli. It's Friday afternoon. This is our park up for the afternoon. National Trust car park and it's free because we're members. We're actually in the overflow car park which is even better because this is our view. Magnificent expanse of Rossilli Beach. Azure Blue Sea. Warm sunshine. And the view out to Worms Head. <laughs> 